Success is not how far you got. Cause see, you're gonna be disappointed all the time. Cause somebody always further than you. So now you'll forever be disappointed. Success ain't how far you got. Success is how far you got from where you started. That's your success. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! You should get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's, it's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. Mm. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. Fuck everybody that doesn't believe in us. Fuck them all. We're going to go out. We're going to become the best version of ourselves. We're going to inspire other motherfuckers to win, and because of us, this world will change. Do not complain about what you didn't get from the work you didn't put in. Every day is just constant improvement, constant curiosity, constantly getting better. The results don't really matter. Uh, it's the figuring out that matters. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing. And stay focused on what it is that you feel God has called you to do. Specifically, that's your greatness. That's where your power is. If you're going to do something, fucking do it. Go for it. Learn it inside and fucking out. Don't rush the process. You got nothing but time. And if you're a friend of everybody, you're enemy to yourself. <laughs> Let him talk shit because at the end of the day, you are the only one who has the guts, we have the guts, to go to work and show up every single fucking day, day in and day out, putting in the work. Watch your thoughts, they become your words. Watch your words, they become your actions. Watch your actions, they produce your future. Every fucking day I wake up, and I don't want to do some fucking shit. I'm like, okay, man, do you want to be a bitch today? Do you want to feel like a little bitch? Do you want to walk around all day knowing that you could, but you didn't? You have to learn how to get up and do shit when you ain't got no fucking 5K, no 10K, nothing. Nothing exists. Your life fucking sucks. You're in the fucking dungeon. But guess what, motherfucker? I'm still going to get it. In 2023, this is the way to do it. Write your fucking goals, journal. Don't be jealous of other people. Be fucking happy for other people. Get mad and go, this is what I need to do to get those things. What's the number one thing that's holding most people back from reaching their full potential? The story. The story they sell themselves on. Everyone's got a story. And everyone wants to tell you their story of how bad they had it, how hard they had it. And the more times you tell yourself or others that story, the more you reinforce the fact that you're not meant to have happiness, success, abundance, great relationship, awesome health, abs, whatever. They don't realize that they still hold the pen. And there's thousands of empty pages still in that book that they can rewrite that story. But we have to let go of the pages that others I want to be the guy that people looked at. I don't care if you liked me or didn't like I don't, I don't care. But said, this motherfucker is going to keep coming after whatever the fuck is in front of him. Two philosophies that I really lean on. One is you can't give people with the least amount of information the most consideration. Yeah. That's I true. can't consider people and their opinion of me who have the least amount of information about me. In the second philosophy, and I've said this many times, I'll say it again. If you live for the cheers, you will die by the boo. Look in the mirror, motherfucker, is you versus you. Look in the mirror, motherfucker, is you versus you. No matter what's going on in your life, it's not permanent. Everything is going to change. So there's two things you can do with change. You can react to it or you can participate in it. It's going to change anyway. So if you keep waiting around, you're going to have to react to the change. And now you, you're behind. The most important conversation you will ever have in your life 
is the one you have with yourself. You have to look in that mirror and know this. there's so much more in here, man. Because I can really right now be a 300-pound guy spraying for cockroaches. Still to this day, if I did not look in that mirror and say, there, there has to be more to this. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it. Fear is my friend. I love fear. Fear allows me to reach my highest potential. Mm -hmm. Fear of failing is an illusion. Fear is an illusion. But we have to have desire. We have to have something that pushes us. Fear pushes us. Do you control your fate. Don't look at me like that. Life has been bad to me. Life was bad to me too. I had to get a gun and a knife and do whatever I had to do to put it together. It took 27 fucking years, but we're here, cocksucker. And I suggest you do the same. Rome wasn't built in a fucking day. You cocksuckers do something for four days and all of a sudden you're like, it's not working. No, it's not working. You have to do the same fucking thing every fucking day. What do you think? They're giving out them bulbs out there? Because you're special? Because you got a tattoo of a fucking bird or some shit? Get your shit together. It's Monday, bitch. Half the year went by and you're still sitting there. <laughs> You can't stop life from happening. You can do something about it. Life is 10% what happened to you. is 90% what you do about it. You got to stop tripping every time something happened to you like it's the end of the world. It ain't. God has seen you through all these years of your life. Why would he bring you this far to leave you? That's the hardest thing in the world. Mm -hmm. To get up every day and give 100% and be in the same position that you were each day, but mentally know that you're trying and trying and trying. That's a real, that's a real grind. Whatever you do, do it 100%. When you work, work. When you laugh, laugh. When you eat, eat like it's your last meal. It's those times when even the hardest motherfuckers in the world are looking around for guidance. There's that one motherfucker. Be that one motherfucker. When, when, when even you're saying yourself, Boy, this fucking sucks. I don't want to fucking be here right now. Be that guy who buys the fucking courage and say, you know what, man? Let's do this. Let's do this. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it. And you get to make that choice. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. You won't necessarily succeed at everything the first time you try. That's okay. Some of the most successful people in the world are the ones who've had the most failures. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. He once said, I have failed over and over and over again in my life, and that's why I succeed. You can't let your failures define you. You have to let your failures teach you. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're gonna wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! You should get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not gonna stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! People think that you should be weak, and you should be docile, and you should be a pacifist. He goes, no, you should be a monster. You should be ruthlessly ambitious, and then learn how to control it. It's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. You can't be strong if you're weak. If you're weak, you're fucked. I want to be the guy that people looked at. I don't care if you liked me or didn't like I don't, I don't care. But said, this motherfucker is going to keep coming after whatever the fuck is in front of him. I don't listen to people that I can't learn from. So I don't listen to interviews of artists that don't have no value in what they say. Mm -hmm. I don't listen to music from people that I can't get no game from. Or Are you the smartest one in your team? Definitely not. I might be the dumbest one. <laughs> we made it another week, and guess what? We're gonna make it next week too. Why? Because you're bad motherfuckers. You're gonna grab your balls, you're gonna write your goals. You're gonna look in the mirror, you're gonna go, who the fuck is gonna stop me? Who the fuck's gonna stop you? Nobody. The only person that stops you is yourself. You want what they got, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta fucking get it. And ain't nobody gonna give it to you. 
I think the definition of greatness is to inspire the people next to you. I think that's what greatness is or should be. It's, it's not something that's, that, that lives and dies with one person. Mm. It's how can you inspire a person to then in turn inspire another person, that then inspires another person. And that's how you create something that I think lasts forever. You know who has a plan B? Motherfuckers that lose. That's a fact. Okay, every single person that wins big, every single person that you look at, every single person that you're inspired by, every single person that you aspire to be like, they only have one motherfucking plan, and that is they are going to win or they are going to die fucking trying. Because the people who go all in, the motherfuckers who burn the ships and leave themselves no other option but success, and you're only going half in because you're half in and you're half fucking out, guess what? You're going to lose. You can do what you put your mind to, and if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generational.